It's week one of the 2024 season, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Packers and the Eagles, next on EA Sports. Now EA Sports and the National Football League so proud to welcome you to the southeast section of Brazil and the world-renowned city of Sao Paulo. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. And this is what every one of these guys waits for each and every week, CD, that moment of anticipation just before the game begins. I know most of these guys have played well over 100 games dating back to their high school days. Imagine that number if you go all the way back to the Little League type of ball. But that excitement before a game, it never gets old. They all know how to channel it once they actually kick this one off, though. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. This to Jacobs on the toss right. Oh, some strong running. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Throwing, Love. He gets that one complete to Wicks. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. And that one results in 35 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season, already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Running the toss here to Jacobs. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. Love now. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, a pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. 
Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Out come the Eagles for the first time and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And there were a lot of people who were surprised when Barkley made the decision to sign with the Eagles this offseason. He adds another dynamic layer to an already stacked offense, and he's quickly making his presence felt as he picks up a nice first down here. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of Hurts fumbles it, and the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. And that one coming on his opening carry of the season. Do you give him a mulligan? You would like to. But this game counts. <laughs> if this yeah. were preseason, he'd get a mulligan. But this is for real. So not expecting that at all. Got to find a way to take care of it. I'm sure he'll get other opportunities. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. But what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Here's a second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Gets past one man. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And it's a solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The clock running here, under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Love. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four.
Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and 14 upcoming. Love, they go play action now. Touchdown, Packers! Christian Watson, 30 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. And it's no good. He missed it wide to the left. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Hurts. Being chased out left. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Throwing his hurts. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll look to throw here. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half, and if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And taken at the 46. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And he continues to have success running the ball here in the first half as he's already closing in on 100 yards for the game. Jacobs on first and ten. 
And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Here's Love. This complete to the tight end, Tucker Kraft. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Love from the gun on third down. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Joseph now to kick this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Hurts sets up to throw it. Staying on his feet. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Back to throw now on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. It's caught on the right side at Smith. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime and it goes for a first down. And his offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good, and that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first. Hurts fumbles it, and this ball recovered by the offense, but remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half, so this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24.
Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half, now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap, it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Rashawn Gary in there to drop it for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that, Puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Now a first carry for their fullback. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Plenty of good matchups in that 1 o'clock Eastern window. It'll be noon at Soldier Field in Chicago. And a big test for the Bears, as they'll have to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. Then later, they'll let the sun die down a bit in Tampa. A late start here in Florida. It'll be the Buccaneers taking on the Washington Commanders. And finally, on the season premiere of Monday Night Football, take two for Aaron Rodgers, the Jets and Niners from Santa Clara. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. They'll set up to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Rashawn Gary now with his second sack here on opening night. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. It's taken to the 26. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. 
He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Jacob's going to try the middle. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 91 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Once again, it's Jacobs. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Here's second and three. Here we go. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. To throw now, here's Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, and there you go. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. And his big night continues on that last run. The yardage there are going to move him over 100 yards now for the ball game. Now second and three. Now a give to Jacobs running right. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, he's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he couldn't quite get there. Ten. Down at the one. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And as the two teams chalk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Jacobs will score. Touchdown, Packers. So he had the nice run to get him down there. Was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off.
a little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. And it's no good. No, he misses the extra point, And our score stays right where it is. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Joseph now to kick this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And out now come the Eagles. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he fin Hurts fumbles it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. And you'd have to figure, he got the ball quite a bit last drive. You see the numbers that now they're looking to choose some clock. He's going to get it even more here. I would think so because they have momentum going in their direction. They move the ball that way on their last drive, and you know they're trying to lock this game down. But also, don't be surprised if they mix in a few passes along the way as well well so they can't just totally key on him on this drive interesting we'll see if that happens either way looking to hold this lead let's see if they can do it 131 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better really as the night's going on second and two first down marker at the eight love looking to throw it this will be caught at about the five and the Packers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation... And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Josh Jacobs already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend and the Packers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead ah what a luxury it is to be able to call a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line 510 220 pounds and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards he finishes off this drive with a touchdown run And oh, can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And it's been a rough night at the office for him. He's been more of a liability than an asset throughout the contest. And this offense is having a hard time overcoming his struggles to this point. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. 
And he goes down. Preston Smith make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts keeps himself upright. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Forced out to his left. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. But he's got Smith here, and he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Second and a couple. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him. But the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Preston Smith able to record his fifth sack of the season. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. And the Packers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. Fights loose. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So for the Packers, you can't ask for a better start as they pitch a shutout here in the opener. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.